go and check on these chicks. How you doing, chicks? Whoa, why you guys are jumping? You're getting big, eh? Check it out guys, these guys are growing, there's some growing in here too, oh, see they're growing, wow they are growing, looks like we're doing something right with these seed starts guys, because they're growing already. How you doing guys, Chad here, welcome to another episode, Chronicles of Farmstay Startup, here at the Innsbruck Farm! Check it out guys, Molly's back. She's got her onesie t-shirt on to protect her stitches so that she won't lick them or pull them out. But uh, she's her personality is getting back to normal. Hey girl, hey girl, you are doing good? I'm happy that she's back and she's okay. She was kind of a little drunk for a few days there. It's a big surgery having a spay like that for a female. It's like they take out the uterus, they take out the ovaries. Like, I don't know what they do, but it's complicated. Today's going to be a fun one, guys. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We're inside the Custom Ultimate Duck House right now. First thing we're going to do is check for eggs. Because there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Molly's sniffing them out, but I'm trying to train her not to steal them and bite them and take them. I want her maybe to know that they're there, but not go after them. Oh, hey, you're being a good girl? No, no. Molly, no. Today is going to be a pretty fun episode, guys. Going to collect these eggs, get in the barn, collect those chicken eggs. I'm going to try to separate those black leghorn chickens from the light Sussex chickens because I want to get those eggs hatching and I can't unless I separate them. Otherwise, I won't have purebreds. We're going to work a little bit on the, the footprint, the foundation area where the new custom ultimate chicken house is going to go. Of course, we got to get the ducks some water. We got to get the chickens fed and watered. Five eggs so far. Six eggs. Seven, eight. So it's gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna get the farm tractor out, try to clean up around the area there where the new chicken house is gonna go because it's getting to the point where I gotta start working on the foundation. I'm gonna do that in its own series. It's going to be a part one, I think, like part one, part two, part three, and I'll just do the chicken house build, and then I'll have some vlog style videos separate to that, because there's going to be a lot of other stuff going on too, guys. I got my vegetable garden to do, so as soon as those, as soon as the ground is ready to mount some posts in cement, I need to start working on that, and then a fence install, and guys, please don't forget. Hit that subscribe for me, please. Pound that like if you like the video. You like what we're doing here at the farm. A lot of happens. Gotta watch my footing. There's a lot of landmines in here. 
Hope you enjoy the episode, guys. Hello, chickens. How you doing, Sussexes? Ah, are you a husband and wife? What do you think, Molly? Are they boyfriend? What's on your face? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I got a I got a little tidy up project in this barn because I want to get the kittens barn cat barn which is gonna be their new house I want to get that in its final resting spot which is right here but I got all this other gear here so I have to clean it up and move it and and the other thing I want to try to accomplish today is clearing out the tack room this is the tack room for when you have horses but guess what guys I don't have any horses yet yet but this is like a separate room um, I feel like there's a little bit of a draft right there I just got to stuff some straw in there just stuff I need this stuff but I need a storage spot for it so I want to get it all out of here it's like and then I want to move maybe the light Sussex chickens there's one rooster and two hens and I want to move them into this room so that I'll have three different areas for the three different breeds because since now I'm hatching what I want, I've only hatched the Rhode Island Reds. So I got these, this light Sussex rooster and I got this hen and then there's that hen and that's it. Then there's the black leghorn rooster with one, two, three hens. So it's difficult to get enough eggs from the light Sussex hens because there's only two hens and they're not really laying every day and right now they're all mixed anyways so if I try to hatch the eggs they're not going to be a purebred I need to separate them and then I need to keep them for about I don't know three weeks maybe a month that way it lets all the the non-bred mixed sperm out so that I can get some purebreds. I really don't want to hatch mixed breeds yet. I might down the road. I might do red sex lynx birds, which is a Rhode Island red rooster and a light Sussex hen. The trouble is I only have the two hens right now, so I need to hatch a batch so that I get a whole bunch of hens. I don't really want more roosters, but hopefully we get hens. You never know. It's usually a 50-50 split. We'll see. Anyways, let me feed and water these guys quick and then we'll get started kind of tidying up. See guys, they're really starting to lay a little bit more now that it's spring, eh? The Rhode Islands, they were laying a lot all through the winter there. But these guys, there's not too many of them. There's only two light Sussex hens and three black leghorn hens. These white eggs are from the black leghorns. They're still a little bit small, but I noticed that they're giving me one or two eggs every day now from the three of them. So maybe in a couple more weeks, they're gonna be laying three eggs a day from the three of them, one each. So that's why I want to try to separate them because I want to hatch these eggs.
Marlin, let's go. are killing me I'm trying to YouTube and you're so noisy ah. It's okay, girl. Let's go, Mr. White. You're gonna go have a private room with the ladies. Hey, Molly, what are you doing? Molly, are you guarding him?
Ah. Okay, I'm gonna put Mr. White down. Let's go. Molly, let's go. It's not easy doing all this with a puppy tied to your hands, you know. I got to keep her on a leash, guys, because I don't want her to rip her stitches out or stretch the muscles too much. So I'm trying to keep her in a controlled environment, but at the same time, be able to hang out with her data because she misses me. So what do we got to do now? We got to water the ducks. We got to water the ducks. How am I going to water the ducks with a puppy on a leash? How do I do it? Oh, I know I can get the mule. I'll put her in the mule and she can't jump down from the mule. Yeah. Great idea. Molly, let's go. Let's go get the mule. Oh, what a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Oh my God. It's so good. The sun on my face. Oh my God, take in the vitamin D while you can get it. Woo! Chicken chores are done, duck chores are done. Let's go see what other trouble I can get in. Work on my new ultimate chicken coop footprint. See if I can clear it up and level it off a bit.
you really have to excuse the wind guys it's wind is really picked up Molly's getting antsy I think I'm gonna call it a day I'm doing the best I can with my farm tractor trying to level off this area it's not easy um, because it's not a bulldozer of course it's like plus I got no skills <laughs> I just got this farm tractor last year I'm doing my best getting a lot of practice but uh, it's looking good important is for when I get the foundation going that that's as level as can be but if I need to dig out a little bit and then add a little bit of soil that's fine anyways I'm calling it a day guys appreciate you watching this episode and stay tuned for the next episode don't forget to click that subscribe don't forget to pound that like see you on the next episode guys Take care.